Hi, here at Bedham TV, we often talk about AFTAL, A-F-T-A-L. You wonder, what is AFTAL? AFTAL is a very established, very respected autograph trade dealers association. But when you see that name, you know that that means that everything we bring you comes with the utmost top provenance. You'll get a certificate of authenticity, you get a lifetime guarantee, and you can buy safe in the knowledge that with that AFTAL name and the items we bring you, get the real thing. Hiya! Now you're probably expecting someone debonair, exquisite, gorgeous, etc. And I'm afraid you've got me. But I'm one of those who's after coming to the bottom and dealing with that person called James Bond. This is an hour of James Bond collectibles. You've got the privilege, or unfortunately, whatever you want to call it, of my ugly mug. Gary Gazza Ashburn, great to have your company. And next to me, yes, this is probably one of the new Bond girls. Look at that, eh? I should have been in a tuxedo, but unfortunately it's shrunk. So, of course, with me today is my great friend, Jade. Now, go on, I'm going to pronounce it. Uh, I did it right before. Is it Slusacek? No. Nearly. No, go on, you say it. It's, it's Sluice Archick. Sluice Archick. So right. if you split it into three, it's a little bit easier right. for you. Now, Jade isn't currently a Bond girl, but dressed like this, I think it's only a matter of time. You may well have seen Jade in her budding media career. She uh, was known as Sky Sports number one walk-on, uh, which we'll explain in a minute. She's been doing a bits of presenting work now, a lot of media work, and she's been getting rave reviews. She also does an amazing amount of charity work, and she, I think she needs applauding for, because she does loads and loads of that. Heart of gold and a star of tomorrow. Now, I'm her agent, so if you need to give us a call. <laughs> but anyway, welcome, babe. Nice Thank to have you, you back here on it's an absolute pleasure. TV. And now this show, if you are new to this show, Benham.tv are a name that's been going for over 50 years, very established in the world of collectibles, particularly with their roots originally in the world of stamps and coins. Yeah. But now they've diversified into lots of memorabilia. But everything we bring you is, uh, is li officially licensed and endorsed product. And of course the photographs we guarantee are 100% genuine personally signed by the relevant actors and actresses so amazing show isn't yeah it? oh it's, yeah don't and don't tune out guys because we've got a really good show yeah. especially if you're bond fans collectibles if you're collectors or if it's for a birthday present this is the show for you so if you're you a bond fan tuned. can't go wrong really can't go wrong with this there's some amazing items we don't have big stocks of these signed items and again, if you want to go away and Google it now, look up the name of Aftal, A-F-T-A-L. They are the name behind most who actually supply most, if not the vast majority of our signed items in this hour. And when we talk about them, they are one of the leading names in the world for guaranteeing that the autographs you see are genuine. It's not like buying them blind on the internet, you never know, do no, you? No, you don't know what you're getting when you get it, especially on the internet. Yep. You don't know who you're dealing with. No. So here we take away all those worries, all those ifs, all those doubts, and you get 100% the real McCoy. You do. So what we better do, have a little dabble, see what we've yep. got coming up. Eh? So what and have I, we got? I tell you what, we've got a lot of the bonds, so don't delay if you see who you want. First of all, now this guy, one of my favourite bonds, 30616, of course, Pierce Brosnan as James Bond. Great mounted photograph. It will come mounted and personally signed £159.99. That's ready to just slip in a frame and hang on your favourite wall. Yeah. Now, Bond is something that, um, apart from looking like a Bond girl, you've uh, you've seen quite a few of the recent movies, haven't you, as well? Yeah, the last two, yeah. Well, um, the actual Sky, Skyfall, everyone knows Skyfall. Yeah. It actually coincided with the Olympic Games. So oh, is it? Yeah, if you... If, You'll, did you see the big the opening ceremony? Yeah, yeah, I remember. So yeah. Daniel Craig's gone in as Bond, gone to collect the Queen from her writing desk in Buckingham Palace, surrounded yeah. by all the corgis, and yeah, they've parachuted into the stadium. So it was quite, quite a it, it was quite about, fitting, yeah. So yeah. It, they both sort of fed off each other, which was good. Yeah. Sort of bounced off each other. Well, obviously other, here good. we've got Pierce Brosnan, who was along a little bit before Daniel Craig. Yeah. In my opinion, did a really good job with um, James Bond. I had yeah. the privilege of meeting him once as well at a charity event. Really, really nice, down-to-earth guy. 
and uh, a great actor. We've all got our favourite Bonds. I know you know you're too young to remember many of them, but whoever you talk to has a particular favourite. Favourite one. But I think Pierce Brosnan's time's gone on as. It's always been, ha he's got a huge amount of Myras anyway. Oh but if, God, you yeah. want, uh, if you want a Bond movie, you know, if you're looking for James Bonds, this is a great way of accumulating a collection. But this one is 300 616. Pierce Brosnan there, as James Bond himself, gun in hand, somebody's in trouble, look. Personally <laughs> signed £159.99. And then moving along there, the, uh, the next one we see, of course, is uh, Sir Roger Moore. What's the number for this one, Jay? So this is 30617. Right, and once again, Roger, Sir Roger Moore, great guy. Actually, I believe he did the yeah. most Bond movies ever. He did, yeah. He, he did. played Bond seven times. That's the most out of any of the actors who actually yeah. did it. Um, yeah, so he's, um, he was actually 45 when he did Live and Let Die. Yeah. So that it's quite, it's, it was actually voted their best favourite bond as well of all time. You were talking about favourite bonds a minute yeah, ago. Yeah, he originally that he took a bit of stick, but a lot of people knew him from the days of yeah. um, The Saint and Simon Templar, Persuaders, things like that. Roger was very eloquent English and he stuff. He was. But again, I had the privilege of meeting him. He was one of the kindest, nicest people you'd ever meet. A very yeah. gentle guy and a great actor. I had a, a really sort of naughty sense of humour, apparently. Yeah. It's a bit of a jaddler. And he ended up being, he was a very senior on the board of UNICEF for fundraising. Spent oh, lots it? and lots of time raising money for UNICEF and getting like Bond actors and actresses, to be frank, where some of our signatures today came from. Yeah, of he course. helped organise oh, the really? actual signatures and did them himself for people like Benham. Oh, because in indirectly they raised money for the in UNICEF, which was his appointed charity. Oh, perfect. But a lovely man, really yeah. nice guy. Well, he was, the actual, he was the oldest Bond that we had as well, wasn't he? Yeah, I wonder if that leaves out for me yet. Do of you course. think so? Yeah. Of course. Maybe we have a granddad so, Bond that we can get gas out there down to oh, you'll make a good one <laughs> yeah apparently with a light out you talk, talk. Really do you walk the walk <laughs> yeah. no, that's the thing hello baby my <laughs> name is Bond uh, I'm not sure which Bond more like Basildon Bond but anyway we'll go on <laughs> 300 617 we'll buy a bit of Sir Rog himself lovely just a guy. quick one with Roger Moore do you know he's actually got a fear of firearms believe it or not is he? That's an actual fact that, yeah. If you actually look it up, it's actually got a fit. So for him to play Bond. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, so he sort of did a bit of, yeah. I, I don't think I could ever do the role because I have a fear of women taking off their clothes in front of oh, me, so I could be, never yeah. have done it. You no, know. you couldn't do that. That's not true, really, <laughs> but um, we, we'll move on before I get in even deeper trouble. 300, Stop 617, yeah. So Roger Moore there is James Bond. Great image of him as the man himself, personally signed. Again, very hard to get, very sought after, £195. Then moving on, we'll talk about your Bond, of course, because next it's Daniel Craig, who, of course, as you said, was the most recent Bond, just agreed to do a couple more, hasn't yeah. he? 300 618 and again, a great price, £164.99. Here we have the, uh, we've got this one in my hands here because this is, um, it will come to you mounted by the way, but these have literally just arrived in the studio, I haven't even had time to mount them, but I'm trying to keep my fingers right on the edges so it doesn't damage them, but this will come mounted, ready to put in a frame and hang on your favourite wall. Is that in Skyfall? That yeah, one? that's Daniel. It was actually 43 in that and he worked out two hours a day to actually get in shape for the film, you know that? Really? Jesus. So yeah, it's a lot, a lot of hard work went in before it, as well as learning the lines. Yeah, he was in the gym. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, he again f had very Daniel Craig He's, had lots of rave reviews as yeah. Bond. Um, I personally thought it's worth. I was took a little longer to take to him, but I think he's done a good yeah, job. Yeah, no, I as think well. he's done. He's, he's the smallest one out of them because if you notice, they, they are very tall. He's quite small. Yeah. Um, I think still five times is still quite big, but yeah. yeah, a lot of them are tall. But yeah, I think he's one of those. A lot of people warm to him the more they've seen him. Yeah, we always comes across well on chat shows. He's yeah. friendly and a nice guy. Yeah. This was actually signed at the film premiere as well, so we can tell you where it was signed, when it was signed, and all of that information comes wrapped up with the paperwork that you get the certificate of authenticity and the lifetime guarantee so that you know it is 100% genuine as I said no ifs no buts and that is the real McCoy so do you have a favorite bond of the one you know or do you oh, I don't really have a favorite um, I think they're all because they're all so different yeah I like them all for different reasons like have you got a favorite 
No, I'm a bit like you. I have different friends. Originally, I liked Sean Connery because he, to me, epitomised, you know, he was the first one, was, but he yeah. epitomised how the role. So you sort of inadvertently perhaps judge them on the way he played it. You sort of go from the first one, yeah. don't you? Sort of, you always like, sort of compare. Yeah, George Lazenby, yeah. we'll have on later, he got slated when he played it because oh, he was no. so different to, to Sean Connery. Yeah. But then in later life, Roger Moore, a lot of people said he was too English. But then as, as time wore on, taste change and closer to the book, yeah. I think to the original book, the ones that closest from Ian Fleming's interpretation of James Bond, I don't know if you agree, were probably Roger Moore and quite possibly now George Lazenby. Yeah. But at the time they were the ones who were most slaught with about the way they played it. So it's funny old. Oh it's it's yeah, it's quite a ruthless thing when they're getting slaught. Yeah. yeah. But there he is, Daniel Craig there, personally signed, that is his full personal signature. He's held it in his own fair hands. You get a piece of bond when you imagine a DNA there, he's signed it. Three hundred six one eight hundred and sixty four pounds and ninety nine. Cannot go wrong. Yep. And then we move on to someone I just touched upon just then, of course, which was George Lazenby. Uh Oops. George okay. sorry, I just wrecking the set. <laughs> George Lazenby, of course. He um we've got a different image of him there, but uh, George Lazenby is um was of course the second bond from On His Majesty's Secret Service. Um, he um, he is uh, you know again when he first played the role he was a male model in actual well, yeah, fact. Yeah, he used to be he? he used to be a model before he actually was bond, but he's he's the youngest one. He's I think he was twenty nine. Was he twenty nine yeah. when yeah? No, so yeah, twenty nine. The youngest James Bond, but he only did the one film. Yeah, didn't he? But what happened? He, he really at the time got slated. Um, he got say we've got two images of J of George Lazenby by the way just in case you're wondering we have very few of both the one you're seeing on your screen at the moment we have literally a handful of so if you want it you've got to be quick or the one we've got on the set yeah. here which just specify which one you want one's George Lazenby with Diana Rigg and the other one is George Lazenby on his own there they both come mounted ready to just slip in a frame and hang on your wall but the choice is yours just sp stipulate which one you want whether it's the one there with uh, Diana Rigg or whether it's the one there that's mounted up on the set. We should say as well, do you know how many times James Bond's married in the movies? How many times? One. This is the only time that James Bond that ever officially got married on this one. was in this movie to Diana Rigg. Wow. So it's quite a significant image yeah. that as well, really. But yeah, he got it's slated and, you know, I had the privilege of working with him on a TV channel in another place in the UK. And he came on and he was quite funny when he got chatting and he, yeah. he actually admitted, because we said to him, is it right you had a free, you know, like a, a free film deal lined up to do, to play Bond? And you, and it, because he, he got just slated, did the one, didn't he? It, yeah. Is and that he why went, you well, yeah, up? he did. He said, I got slated. And oh, so no. his, I think his management at the time, I've got to be careful, I says, I understand yeah. his management at the time advised him not to, to not to do any more of them oh, what a shame. and pulled out. So hopefully so, he could have um, maybe changed people's minds in the second and third. He one. could have done a lot more of them. Yeah, so of I said to him, I guess you've changed your management. He went, yeah, you're too right. <laughs> yeah. I had, you know, yeah. Great decision that was. Oh, no. But yeah, he's, he's a lovely guy. And also, funny enough, for a bit of useless information, played rugby and he was a guy who played a bit of rugby oh did well. he man of your yeah. own heart gary yeah great guy good fun but there he is 300 619 george Lazenby, the only man who played james bond and was watched down the aisle married much i think if i could have married diana rig i think i'd have run down the aisle but anyway <laughs> 74 pounds 99 will bring you that fabulous fabulous image of the man himself and then we move on to something very different which is, uh, this is, I suppose, is what a lot of people would think of as a very traditional Benham type item. The number for it is. 306.20. And the price is. Um, £85. Yep. Which oh. is it's great value for money because you've, th you've got the three Bond girls there as well. Yeah, what you've got is actual three, it's framed and mounted as you see it there, it will come to you. And it's three. Uh, all, they're all uh, licensed and endorsed frame commemorative covers that are personally signed by three Bond actresses. The top one, of course, is Honor Blackman, who was Pussy Galore, famous movie. Then, of course, we have uh, Samantha Bond, and at the bottom we have Serena Gordon. So there's three Bond girls there. All You've actually got three separate signatures, all on individual James Bond covers. And if you, fact, if you look at those... Um, 
close in some of these these postmarks. I don't know if we can see that, but it actually actually says just knock everything oh. flying. It just <laughs> says it's celebrating the 90th anniversary of, of course, the uh, birth of Ian Fleming. So it's very very different. Very well, I think it's different. Look great frame, and you've got three autographs of three of the key Bond ladies. Yeah. De definitely great value for money at £85 and that's item number 30620. Can't go wrong. Moving on from the Bond girls to, uh, well I suppose really to, what should we say, to uh, the man himself. Yeah. This of course is Richard Keel as Jaws. Very frightening figure, Mr. Oh, Good. God. He's seven, seven foot, foot two. Yeah, well. Seven foot two. How do you even grow that tall? I know. How, do you, how, how old do you think he was when he got to seven foot? I don't know, about seven? Seven? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe five? Yeah. yeah. He, was, uh, he was. No, he was a definitely a big guy. And I had the, pr again, oh, that's name dropping here, but very privileged of meeting him. And he goes, What's on he the like? Box, a lovely man, gentle, very gentle, plastic. Gentle guy. giant. But he can't walk down the road and not know who he is. Everybody crosses the road because he's massive. And we worked on another TV station in this sort of, you know, in England. I won't say it was. But Richard Kill came on air and he was just such a nice guy. And I've met him at conventions as well. It's always a huge queue yeah. to get his autograph. Oh, I can imagine. He's such, a, such a, an important character in a Bond movie. He was massive, so well, everybody yeah. loved him, you know. Oh, God, yeah, of course. He used to be a bouncer before he was actual mm. you were, it's the right job. You wouldn't argue you with him, wouldn't you? Ar you certainly wouldn't if argue. No, <laughs> you'd, I'd, I'd walk myself out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you certainly yeah. wouldn't argue. And, uh, he was a lovely guy, though. Wrote a great book, actually. If you ever get a chance to see his book, it was really like one of those written from the heart you know I think they're the best ones and he and as I, say, I met him two or three times and he was a really lovely guy full of great stories a great actor as well I mean everybody yeah. knows him as that role he did a lot of other parts yeah of course great I think that's guy. what he's mainly known for though isn't it yeah and, and of course with number. that can't go wrong yep it's 30621 and that is 69 pounds anyone just tuning in now as well guys go over to the website which is www.benham.tv We've got all the items that you've missed if you've just tuned in now, and we have got a lot more Bond merchandise as well for you. So get signed in. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So get following us, get tweeting us, get messaging us, and we will all get back to you soon. Do remember also, on some of these more expensive items, um, there are facilities available for special terms with some of them. Um, so do the, probably the best route is send an email to info at benham.tv, asking for the details of a specific item you're interested in. But on some of the more considered purchases, it, the facility is there to actually do special terms for in certain instances. So yeah. it's well worth checking that out. But as I say, give us a call, do check that website, and uh, any questions you've got as well, you can direct them to me or to Jade or any of our presenters. We'll all here, get back something. to you. Yeah, we'll get back to you. Just send those questions to info at benham.tv. I promise we'll be back to you. Anything you want to see in the shows, anything like that, yeah. I'd love to hear from you. There might be a piece that you might want us to get hold of. Any mm. questions you've got, if you, if you really want something, whether you're a collector, whether it's for a surprise, a birthday present, Get in touch. If we haven't got it on the show, do mention it to us and we'll try our best to get it for you Without as well. Without doubt. Moving on to one of my favourite scenes like most hot-blooded males. Maybe I better not say I'm a hot-blooded male. But of course, this is Ursula Andres. The original now, Bond girl. She's amazing, yeah. Yep. This is 30622 and there she is, probably the most famous Bond girl, because she was the first one, of course, from the movie. Uh, which of course was Doctor No. The scene uh, down there we can see where yeah. she came out of the, the water with the seashell and that white bikini, I think later on in life was voted the most sensuous scene ever in, in the movie. Yeah. You know? I'm not surprised. She's absolutely stunning as well, isn't she? Uh, yeah. Great actress. And again, really hard to get, but yeah. because it's the first movie as well, always a massive interest in getting anything oh, to do with that. 100% that. And the thing is, that bikini that she actually wore, Coming out, it actually went for auction in 2001 for £35,000. I know, and I, and I still can't wear like, it. I, I still don't can't fit into it. You know, I've tried, but... I, I was going to say, would, would you wear it? Would you frame it? You'd, <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't know what to I do, know. would you? It, Get it out on special occasions, <laughs> do you, Gary? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone <laughs> treated you for Christmas. But yeah. on, a, on a serious note, something like that is literally 
a very famous and very special piece of film memorabilia. So because it's such a famous scene from the early part of the first ever Bond movie, always going to be massive interest in it, you know? Always, even her earrings, if she had earrings in, I don't know, would be, you know what I mean? Oh, Everything which, about it would be special. It, lift it into the Premier Division. Oh, 100%. So I'm not surprised that it went for that. 100%. And, and again, she came to a couple of conventions here in the UK, I think. But again, very charming lady, massive queues to get Oh, I can imagine. Because she doesn't do it, I don't think she does many of those sort of events. Yeah, of course. And she was just mobbed, absolutely mobbed. I mean, you know, in the sporting world, because um, you've yeah. done lots in that world, haven't you? Maybe you should t touch oh, upon that as well, Jay, because yes. you do loads of live events, don't you? Yeah, yeah, well, I've done um, the snooker, sh I've done all Sky Sports walk ons for the last seven years, and I've done it for the snooker shootout, the Moscone Cup, and I do the snooker darts and pool exhibitions all in events and appearances in between right, as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've had a bit of a, a bit of a story setback. going on at the minute. A bit of yeah. a setback. Yeah, and you've we've been got on all this terrestrial TV. Haven't you? Yeah, Piers Morgan, yeah. Good morning, Britain mm. with Piers Morgan yeah. on um, BBC Radio Two with Jeremy Vine, and yeah, we're just talking about all the the trying to like ban the walk on girls and trying to say it's sexist. We're being harassed at work. Mm. Never once can I just say I've never once been harassed at work. I'm showing so much respect off the players, the fans. We're all like one big family and I think, yeah, people are getting the wrong, so people are just judging it wrong. If they come to the events and see it's... Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's just strange, a strange, isn't it? But your career's moved much more now, or moving into doing things like presenting yeah. and actually yeah. doing, um, you know, interviewing. Yeah, yeah I'm getting into all events, the TV. Charity stuff, which is great, well. you know. I mean, yeah. we all wish you well with that. Because obviously you. I've known you a while, and she is one of the loveliest and kind-hearted oh, ladies it's ever been my pleasure to meet, you know. I think that, so, as long as you've got a good heart, that's the main thing, I think. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you look like, what you do. As long as you've got a good heart, I think that's the main thing. Well, I yeah. always tell people with the light off, I'm gorgeous, but we won't go into that. You're gorgeous yeah. anyway, Gavin. Thank you, yeah. Light on over. Yeah, thank you. Moving on there from Ursula Andres, 306 double two. Great image of her, yep, really so is don't something miss out on that one, quite guys. superb. Now we move on to another lady who is a legend in the Bond movie. Yep. Legend of a British actress, the one and only uh, Judy, Judy Dench. The number 30623, personally signed by the lady herself, Ninety-four pounds and ninety-five. Judy yep. Dench, what an actress! Oh, I love her. The first appearance was in Golden Eye as well, wasn't it? In nineteen ninety-five, and I think she's it's seven movies over seventeen years she's done. Yeah. I think she's the most viewed after Bond himself. So yeah, she's yeah, she's amazing, 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 she's an amazing actress. Lady. She just everything she does still working so. She's so eloquent hard. and she's just oh, I love yeah. her. And I, again, I've met her at a charity dinner. Lovely, lovely lady. Yeah. You couldn't meet a more charming, nice, easygoing. Rounded, well, down you know, to considering yeah. you know, you think she's like a, an Im immortal star or something. Yeah. She's just the loveliest person. She looks like your kind-hearted auntie or somebody <laughs> yeah. you meet. Not my auntie. I'm too old to be her auntie. But, um, <laughs> yeah, maybe your auntie. You know what I mean? She's a lovely, lovely lady and a fabulous actress. Yes. But if you're building a collection of James Bond, you've got to have her in it, haven't you? Three hundred six two three. That's Judy Dench. You can't miss M. Him. Great price, £94.95. Then moving on, because we've got lots to show you, so we've got to move on. We're moving on from Judy Dench now to another very significant actress for some time, which of course is Lois, Lois Maxwell. There she is with Roger Moore, famous scene from the movie, and uh, the number there is... 30624, and the price is £84.95. And again, this will come mounted. What's, we've just got them loose, but every one of these uh, photographs, signed photographs, will come mounted, apart from the one or two that are actually framed as well, where we'll yep. tell you that in the details on the screen. This one will come mounted, ready to slip in a frame of your choice and hang it pride of place in your home. 30624, Lois Maxwell there, personally signed. Great image, isn't it? £84.95. I think there's a bit of everything for everyone though, whether you're a massive James Bond fan, whether you're not, whether it's just for someone else or yourself, there is something for everyone on this show. So yeah. any of you who are just tuning in and you have missed some, 
Where, where have you been? You're actually nearly half an hour late. Yeah. And yeah, so get on the show, which is, get, get on the website even, which is www.benham.tv and you'll see the items we have done that you have missed. Carry on watching the show and then you can catch up with that at the end. Yep, wherever your friends are, relatives worldwide, you can just direct them to the website yep. there. As Jade said, www.benham.tv and they will find a menu there and you can see all the shows we've recorded covering all the different genres of collectible. James Bond, Star Wars, Star Trek, Doctor Who, music, sport, football, whatever it is you're into, I'm sure there'll be something to interest something you. Something for everyone. And they can watch it anywhere in the world that's got an internet connection. This lady's actually been in a couple of Bond movies. She was, of course, most famous for Octa Pussy. This, of course, is an American actress. Actually, originally she was Swedish, but an American, lived in America for many years, Maud Adams. This is 300 625, and again, a great image of her. £84.95 will bring you Maud Adams. Yeah. Imagine with these, maybe you're buying it for your partner or your, your husband, your wife, your friend, your lover, or whatever. Or, Family won't go into that, but whoever you buy it for, any of these, you know, they're going to really love them. If oh, they love course, Bond, yeah. they make great, great items. And you can easily build a collection here on Benham TV. You know, for if you're, if you're building like a shrine to it or, or a whole wall, you can build a whole collection up of the key actors and actresses over the years. But Maud Adams, very significant yeah. and a great one to add to your collection. Look at that. Imagine, maybe guys, you could wake up in the morning and have those beautiful eyes looking down at you saying, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> that could be Maud Adams just for you. 300, 625, 84 pounds and 95. A lovely lady as well. Met her. Don't mean to boast, but I did meet her as well. No, it's, I think it's nice when you meet them though, because then you can sort of see what they're like. Yeah. When they're acting, you only see what? What, what they want you to see because they're obviously playing a part but when you meet them yeah. in person I think it makes it all yeah you well you can obviously yeah. say it this lady is one of, again I keep saying it's a beautiful lady Carolyn Munro I've been a pleasure knowing her a long time now she's a gorgeous lady the number for this 300 626 great image of her with Sir Roger Moore and I spoke to her very closely after Sir Roger's sad passing away and she was devastated oh, she had loved him so much she says he's a lovely 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 i think man. the thing is though because they're on set filming for so long together as mm. well like you know what it's like if, if we spent every day together for a month it'd feel like a year would for you <laughs> with me probably <laughs> no it, she says that normally <laughs> aren't well, but never mind. no but yeah. yeah i think because i've spent so much time you do become like a big family and then yeah. obviously when tragedies like this do happen, it massively, it does affect, it affects all the crew. Yeah, it's bound yeah, to. And, and Carolyn played Naomi, the helicopter pilot in The Spy Who Loved Me. She's also very well known for all her parts in many of the horror movies, the Hammer movies and stuff. And if you're my age or older, you may have had that, what do I call it, a wonderful experience or the dream or the visual of watching her walk along the beach in a very famous old alcohol advert if you haven't look it up on the internet or something uh, but just sit down with a glass of water because carolyn is that what was you gorgeous. do <laughs> yeah yeah still do and i always took she was like behave gary you're too old you know but she's lovely lovely lady fabulous image and very very popular 300 626 carolyn munro with her £2 lovely £2 friend sir roger great yeah. image of her we do also have a, if you check the website you'll also see i think we've also got an image of caroline actually in her uh, role actually as the helicopter pilot so go to the website and you can actually pick which image you want and select the one you want but uh, always very popular not surprising the gorgeous and lovely caroline munro then over there, we move on to another famous Bond lady. This one comes framed. This, of course, is the lovely Honor Blackman. I remember growing up, Honor Blackman was in the Avengers for many years. You know, one of the Avengers, yeah, yeah. original Avengers, played um, with John Steed and all that. But her role in this movie with Sean Connery was, of course, she was in Goldfinger and she played Pussy Galore. But you see the number there is 300627. Great price. This one comes framed in everything. Pound. 49, and, yeah, 100%. And that's her genuine signature. She's again, a very popular character. Have you seen that movie where she has a little 
frolic and roll around in the hay with um, Sean Connery in it. No? Do you fast forward to that bit? <laughs> I've got it on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't really. But yeah, it was another no, no. famous scene. But yeah. she was a very, a very well-known English actress anyway. But she's done so many different things. I say she was great in the Avengers. And whenever she turns up at a convention, always a big Mobbed. cue for her. Yeah. Lovely, lovely lady. I think that's good though. I love the support they all get from it. Mm. I love the support. They're doing something right. Yeah. It's worldwide, you know. But it's to massive. get you gotta ask yourself, where would you go normally to get items like this? You can't just jump in the motor and go no. down a shopping mall or the local ice street. You don't get anything like this. Here you can sit in the comfort of your own armchair at home or wherever it is, maybe on a tablet, on a mobile phone, wherever you are, you can watch these shows, you can see items you'll probably never see again or before, and you can buy them most importantly, safe in their knowledge that they are one hundred genuine you get all the paperwork with it keep all that but whatever you do don't miss out yeah it's a great one isn't it do your um did you have you know when you were a child I mean, did you ever look back at the earlier bomb movies or is it just mostly the recent ones? mainly the recent ones yeah. really yeah mainly the recent ones i've seen like obviously um in blackpool i went to they sort of did like a special premiere of casino royal oh right yeah so yeah we um went to that I sat in a really tight sim similar dress to this but it was a laced up one so i sort of sat really uncomfortable for like the full movie <laughs> i think yeah. my ribs broke my, my bottom two ribs broke by the end <laughs> of it because i was sat there that long but yeah no um yeah no all the bond films are amazing i look they the such good stories behind them as well yeah they're always and good i think fun. yes and they the always give the um and Sorry, go no, on. No, no, go on. No, I was going to say, they always have such good characters in them as well, yes. you know. There's, I mean, a lot of a lot of the tongue-in-cheek, the names that are given to the female character roles in yeah, there, yeah, like this course. one was Pussy Galore, you know. They're slightly close, have different meanings sometimes in day-to-day -day life, we might yes. say. And some of the guys, you know, have roles that are big. You know, they've had George, you've had the guy with the, uh, the big... Um, Chinese actor, uh, what's his name, Sanya Sayata or something, who, who had the bowler hat. There's so many memorable scenes Moments, from yeah. Bond movies, you know. And I that think that's good. Yeah, of course. Talk about it forever. Oh, God. A lot of them are captured and different. Obviously, they're walking out and then obviously the this one that's on screen now. It's, yeah, a lot of the moments are captured and they're all personally signed and literally head over to the website, guys, for anyone who is just tuning in to Benham.tv. We've got everything on that we've done today and we've got a lot more Bond stuff as well. So there's a little bit for everyone. A little bit for everyone. There Just is. remember yep. the name, Bond, James Bond. Uh, seven, I think you'd make a good Bond. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you find you want to do the alternative, give us a shout. You know, I'm always available. <laughs> Very cheap as well, you can guess, can't you? Moving on to another lady who... No, I don't, again, I'm going to say another one of Mex. I feel really boring now. But no, again, 300 628, lovely lady, Lois Charles, very fun actress. Now, she is a very rare signature because she's hard to get, you know? Yeah. She, um, she just doesn't do many conventions. I met her, she, of course, was in Moonraker. But we did a show many years ago, it was highly talked about. And I had the fortune it was Lois Charles, Maud Adams, um, Richard Keel, who was George, George, and George Lazenby, all in one show. Wow. You can imagine it was in the national press because it, I don't think they've ever had so many uh, characters, so many characters, in, characters one, yeah, in one place. Serious Bond yeah. characters. But fortunately, it coincided with a convention. We got them on. And she was oh, a no. real life, Lois Charles, you know. I remember her saying to me, if she ever watches this, she'll kill me. But um, I hope you're well, Lois, because you're I great I hope you're lady. watching. Yeah. I do hope you're watching yeah. as well. And she said to me then, she was standing in England, the others were going off into Europe to do yeah. other conventions. And she said to me then, I said, you're in London, aren't you, for a few days? She said, yeah, yeah, we must have lunch or dinner. And I said, yeah. She said, what would you prefer? And I said, breakfast. So she said, we better see how that dinner goes first, honey. You know? <laughs> and she yeah. was a lovely lady, great fun. We never did have the meal, sadly. She ran away, never to be seen again. I was again. just going to say, what happened <laughs> with that meal? <laughs> if you're watching Lois, number's still the same. 30628, Lois Charles there, who played the character Dr. Holly Goodhead. £45, and it could be sitting on your wall, looking down at you in the morning. Or the evening, it's or the just afternoon. this one that we've got as well, isn't it? Yeah, great image, three hundred six two eight, and that of course will bring you a piece of Lois Charles. Then we're going on to something very different. But um, where are we? These are always popular. What we've actually got, if I can find it, 
is a set of trading cards. Now here, if you have a collected trading cards, this one, do you know that number is? It's 300629 and the price for these are £24.95. Now if you've ever collected trading cards, I don't know if you've ever, I know you're a, a girly, but I don't know if you ever got into trading cards, some did, but the, it's so difficult and to so frustrating full, yeah. to get a full set. You spend fortunes and then buying one packs, buying packs, pack, and then you'll be swapping it, with your yeah, friends to try and get one, the full People whip one off yeah. you when you're not looking, etc. You can spend a fortune trying to get a set. Here you have the complete set. These are officially licensed and endorsed James Bond collection of trading cards relating to the movie itself. If you look at them, you'll see, if we, if we can go in closely, we look at some of the images, they're fantastic. The, 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 the characters and the logos and decals are just superb. Look at these, absolutely brilliant. And as you look at them, I'll open them up. You see, they're just like just like watching the movie itself. And here you're getting obviously and then images. On the back, you get up yeah, and on the back you get the the description that relates to the specific Same. image on the front. Yeah. So then if you turn that round, turn it back again, you see that is the description that relates to the individual card. But as you see, you've got the complete set here of ninety cards. Really, really difficult and very frustrating trying to put a collection like this together. Oh God, I can imagine. It 90 really cards. is, 90 cards. Just imagine how, many, how much money you could spend. Because I think you can buy a whole box and not necessarily have no. got a set, you no, know? You can, yeah, and obviously, uh, invariably, all people are looking for similar cards. These are fabulous. Imagine, somebody would love these. They've got very popular again. I grew up with the old uh, cigarette cards at one point, but these graphic trading cards of the actual movie have become so, so popular. You've got the full set of 90 cards in there. Absolutely stunning. And we'll try and look at them again yeah. later, but they so are, the images yeah. are just incredible. And that's item number 300629, and at 24.95, that is an amazing value. So it is, you could have spent- Don't miss out, literally, it's it's, it's gonna be hard to get You could have spent 10 yeah. times that and still not got a set. No. You know, you've got the lot together. If you're looking for different bomb memorabilia, can't go wrong. That will go quick though, so. Yeah, we don't have very yep. many of them. Yep. Moving on, something different again from our trading cards. We have another Bond actress here, one we haven't seen yet. This, of course, is, yeah, can you see? This is another great lady. This is Famke, I never know how to pronounce it, Famke Janssen. 300, 630, great image of her. £84.95. Now, with this one, we can tell you where it was signed, when it was signed, and all of that information will come wrapped up with it when you actually, if you're fortunate enough to get your hands on one of these. Absolutely brilliant. Yep, so that's product number 300630, and it's £84.95. Yeah, can't go wrong. Yep. Do you have um, do you have a I know you know Bond it's the more recent ones, but do you have a particular favourite Bond movie? Do I? Yeah, the ones you've seen. Um, yeah. I enjoy the Casino um Royal. Um I like I like the last two, the Skyfall and obviously Spectre. Which which ones are yours? Yeah. Well I, I, I don't know, as you say it's difficult. You like different ones for different, for different reasons. For different reasons, that's you? it. Yeah, I don't think you can really if you if you are you a big Bond fan? Yeah, quite, they're always very entertaining. You think, when you get the mileage, you think, oh, some of them become more mechanical or more, you know, uh, the effects are more, ex a bit more in your face they're, than they yeah, used to be. Because it's just the development of technology yeah, enables of them to do that. But, um, and sometimes you hear people say, oh, they've gone a bit too OTT now. But yeah. I think whatever they've done, they've always been done brilliant. They are highly entertaining. Oh, God, yeah. Well, I know. And they're obviously worldwide, aren't that they? Spe Massive. Spectra was the most expensive Bond movie made. They actually went over, I think they had a budget of $350 million, yeah. dollars, and it's they actually went over it. it. They actually went over it, yeah. So it's. I think all yeah. the yeah to get everything in they just they jam pack it now with all the special effects. I know it's just it's, it's just phenomenal, isn't it? Yeah. Didn't you do something with a, a bond? Bond yeah, event? Yeah, I you actually yeah I actually got flew up to Scotland to it was for a charity event for a children's charity for STV and it was a James Bond theme so. Yeah, we was meeting everyone. I was by the Aston Martin, whereas there's only ten of them in the world made, so we was lucky to get one on set for us. And 
Yeah, but it was just, it was an amazing event and we raised a lot of money for the charity as well, which oh, it was... great. Yeah, no, it was I good. I think we might have an image of that. We'll try and get one. We can try and put that in the show, let you have a look at it. Cause, yeah. Yeah, should, I should imagine by the Aston Mighty you looked quite at home, didn't you? Oh, just... You yeah, wouldn't stand near my uh, Robin, Reliant, Reliant Robin, would you? you wouldn't oh, of course stand I near would. That. Of course yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it was great. And I know that it's a great image. Should I have a little look yeah. at that? You can see the lady. Maybe she looks like a Bond girl, doesn't she? Look at that, eh? Can't oh, go wrong. You look like a Mr. Bond as well. Uh, yeah, I know. Basil and Bond, I am. Look out in like. the next film for us. Yeah, yeah. You were wondering <laughs> yeah. who was going to do the role. So was I. Moving on, Fanky Anson there. Could be yours. 300, 630. £84.95. What else have you got coming up in your world um, soon then that you know? Because I know you're doing so many different yeah, events. Yeah, I've got now. yeah a lot of just uh, events, appearances with the, the snooker players, the darts players. Yeah. I've got evenings with, with a lot of the sports stars as well. So, yeah, it's just a mixture of all those. It's a mixture of all those. So, yeah, always put it on my Facebook. So anyone who's nearby, obviously. Yeah. Can come and yeah, they're great nights. If no one's been to any, you need to come to some. But yeah, you've you've been to a few, haven't you, Gary? Yeah, yeah, we've been yeah, been to a few of these events. I mean, they're very popular now, aren't they, for people to actually you yeah. know, be able to give a chance to meet celebrities and make money. That's from it. Really good with up close and personal with them as well, time. so you can yeah. actually get to actually have a chat and yeah. do pictures, and do you, signings. Your roots have been very in the sports world, Sever, but you're yes. now diversifying much broader, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, around um, TV. Yeah, no, I enjoy it all. Like I. I've cared for my mum since I was six, we was in a really bad car accident, I left her disabled. So I got into doing the Sky Sports walk-ons because it, 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 it just fitted in with caring for my mum. Mm. And it wasn't contracted into a nine to five, Monday to Friday. So when she wasn't too well, I didn't take any work. When she was well, I'd go and do something and try and make her proud. And yeah, once I got into, it's all, it's all like a similar business. And mm. once I got into it, I just thought I enjoyed it. Yeah. Everyone's so friendly, we're like one big sports family and I think in the entertainment and the TV world it is very like that, it is one big family and everyone just gets on. Well a lot everyone of people gets think on it's very cutthroat but in my you know, it's a small well, time of being involved in the level that I do, yeah. obviously I don't mix with the A-listers too often, only run a mile at the same big coming. But um, you know, on a, on a serious note, I mean what you've done and what you've achieved, I mean I, I know obviously now quite a bit what, what you've been through. We've both had some yeah. tough times in life. Yeah. But you need to be very admired. And what you do oh, now, she does loads, believe me. But moving on, and we see here Martine Bezik, another uh, you know great one from a course. I think she was, she, was she in Thunderbolt, I believe, wasn't she? She was, of course, there she is with Sean Connery. Great image of her there. And a great black and white image put, uh, signed. Even a couple of kisses there. Yeah. Is it a heart as well? Been, it might have been a heart and a kiss, so it was obviously Better meant about. for me. But you can hang that, <laughs> if you're buying it for the man in your life, you can say, hey, look what I got just for you, eh? Can't go wrong. I Great image of her. Yeah, again. I think, see, that's the thing, whether people are buying them for someone, whether they're for themselves, there's something for all of you who are watching. Yeah. And literally, yeah, go onto the website, because there is a lot more Bond merchandise that we have on there. So. Yeah, whether it's on the show or on there, if there is something that you do want and it's not on there, then by all means send us all a message and we will do our best to get you that as well. We certainly will. But again, Martin Bezik, where would you go to get these signatures? That's again, it. we fortunate enough through a good friend of mine, Jane Crimin, who uh, is an agent. I hope you're watching Jane. I know she's a lovely, lovely lady. Bring some of these Bond actresses like Caroline, like Martine, to some of these live events. You may well have met her. If you do see her, say Gazig said, come up and say hello. So she's a lovely, lovely lady. But Martine Bezik, again, great one. She's been to one or two conventions. Always oh, a big, big line. Now, I'm not knocking the conventions as well, but when you go there, you work it out. You've got to drive from your home or get in a car or a yeah. train. You've got to get there. You've got to pay to go in. You've got to queue up. You've got to get your autographs. You've got your petrol. You've got your parking, it's whatever. Like buying food and drinks. They don't come cheap at them no. places, do they? When you work it out here, you can get these items just put into the envelope delivered very carefully by special delivery, comes straight to you. It's got no ifs, no buts, they come straight to you. And remember, they are all real. Martine yeah. Bezik there, 30631. Great image of her again there with Sean Connery, the and man himself. £42.95, so that's Can't amazing value wrong. as well. Then we're at something that is incredibly rare. Well, it is. 
it, you know, it, it is just a one-off item. We won't lie to you. It is a one-off item. What we've actually got here is the number for this is... It is 30632. Brilliant. And what we've got is, this is an original, it's not a copy, it's an original German film poster of the movie Moonraker. And it's personally signed by Sir Roger Moore himself. Yep. That is just so incredibly good value. Oh God, of course, 325, that is for the original as well that is yeah i will say that this is not in original mint condition obviously because it's been used yeah but it's it come to you rolled in a tube ready to just put in a frame and hang on your wall it is an original used poster from germany that was made original well originally originally it is the original poster made for the movie it's hung and been displayed but it's been personally, personally signed, signed by roger moore and if you follow what sort of bomb movie posters can go for i've seen many of them go for well in excess of four figures oh, that crazy. is an incredibly yeah. good price in my opinion oh i, I agree it's a great, agree. great item, and you, you know anyone who has a Bond collection, that's going to that's hang a must have pride for of place it, yeah. in it. It really That'd is. That'd be a main piece. It's beautifully done. Yep. Fabulous item. Three hundred six three two there. Uh, Sir Roger Moore there personally signed that original German poster for original cinema movie poster. Um, Three hundred and twenty-five pounds. Can't go wrong, yep. can you? Then we've got again um, an actor that is uh, a gr one of the Bonds. It's a very anonymous life. He's actually one of the hardest bonds you can get. This is Timothy Dalton. Item there he number is. 30633, and that's £165. Believe it or not, that again, that's ready to just put in a frame and mount ready uh, to go. put on your wall. Yeah. But Timothy Dalton is one of the Great hardest, as well. probably the hardest, next to Sean Connery, maybe even Hardy. He's one of the hardest and rarest autographs to get of all the bonds. Oh, God, yeah. Group. Well, he took over from Roger Moore, didn't difficult. he? Very, difficult, yeah. But he's just a really difficult... He's a very private life. Very, very yeah. hard to get anything of him signed. So that makes so it all So if you're in a collection, get that quick. Yeah. Yeah, it really is unusual. Um, I've, I've, I know many people, a couple of people I know, they took several years to yeah. make up their own... Collection, collection of all the bonds, like have a signed picture of all the bonds, and inevitably the amount of people that ring me up or send me an email and say, yeah. Gaz, do you know where I can get a Timothy Dalton? I've got all the others, but I cannot get a Timothy Dalton. Sean Connery is the most expensive because he's become he's the, the most rarer, course, yeah. uh, or probably the most sought after worldwide, being yeah, the first. The first. Obviously, as he gets older, he signs less and less, so yeah, so they're getting harder now. to get, aren't they? Yeah. Timothy Dalton is inevitably one of those that everybody wants and you can't get. So, so. any of you watching at home, make sure you log on and get that perfect present, whether it's for yourself or for a loved one. Certainly is. Yeah. Don't delay, because otherwise you it won't will get go. that another day, I'm sure. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Moving on to um, the next one, which, of course, is another one of these collections. This is 30634. This again is Tomorrow Never Dies. Same as the other one, this is a complete set of 90 yep. cards of, of course, James Bond. And it's 24.95 as well, the same as the other price. one. I can't brilliant. get over the price. Brilliant price. And if you look at them, as I say, each one of those, as we sort of going close as we can, you'll see they're actual images, photographic images, licensed and endorsed from the movie itself. Look at that. Great photography work there, look. Yep. As you can see, look at them. They are brilliant. See, this, the detail is just superb. Wow, look at that. It's a good photography work there. And as we turn them over, you'll see, you know, as again, all the different images. They are just brilliant. Now, if you've ever collected these cards, it's so hard to get a complete a set. set. Here yep. you've got the complete set. I could spend hundreds of pounds trying to get a set Easy. together because you can never get all the ones you Easy. want. Easy, and you can get this for £24.95. It, it, it's an amazing price. Yeah. And on the back, you see each card on the back has the details of the image that's on the front. Great way of collecting. You better move on because we're running out of time. It's a fabulous way of getting a terrific full set of, tri full set of the... Uh, World is not enough. Uh, sorry, Tomorrow Never Dies. Saw that earlier. Tomorrow Never Dies, 90 card trading collector's set. Brilliant. As you say, great price for that. Yep. It really Don't is. Don't miss out on this one. No. Now, 
Do you want to pick that one up? Yeah, oh, sure. You can hold that. Now, this one, again, this is actually the last item. You've seen it all now, so you're hanging on. Don't delay. <laughs> but this <laughs> is the yet. last item in the show. But this, of course, is a wonderful image there of our friend, as we saw earlier, Richard Kill, who was Jaws. Gives you an idea how big he is. Look. It's huge. And, Seven of course, foot Roger seven. Moore. So uh, he's quite Roger. tall as well, isn't he? Yeah. Six foot? He, as I say, Caroline, my friend who was in the movie with him, and yeah. Maud Adams, both said that Sir Roger Moore was a real fun person. You know, he was yeah. always full of life, full of fun. Another lady I know yeah. worked for the BBC for many years, who did a big casting director in the UK, Kate Plantin. She also has told me, everybody says that Sir Roger had a real sort of naughty schoolboy. It looks it looks a cheeky chappy on it he looks a cheeky chappy on this as well, the doesn't scenes. it? Yeah, yeah. He was always great fun. Everybody loved working with Sir Roger Moore. Very pure, very raw and great, great fun to be with. Yeah. You know, so I only met him once when I had to go and meet him because he'd signed some covers um, on behalf of Benham um, for, you know, James Bond related covers. He'd yeah. signed them on behalf of um, as we say like the uh, UNICEF and um, he, he, he was just a great guy. I met him, I go to the hotel and they said, oh, come on up, you know. And I expect something to bang on the door and I go through three rooms and yeah. uh, sort of PA of a and PA. He was and he said, hello, how are you doing? You know, lovely. And he just answered his dressing gown yeah. and everything. You know, he was just so chilled. Oh. And I said, can I get an image of you signing them? You know, just so that people think can that see it isn't that me. They know it's real. Yeah. And he went, yeah, sure. And I went, um, you better put, yeah, yeah, socks on, a bit of underwear under that because I'm not sure who will look to it. <laughs> yeah. He's a lovely, lovely man. Beautiful well, when was man. this? It's a few years ago at yeah. the hotel in the West End, you know. And imagine me rolling up saying, I, uh, hello, I've just come to see Sir Roger Moore. And they go, there's the door, sir. You know? <laughs> <laughs> on your back. <laughs> no, honestly, you ring him up. He knows yeah. I'm coming. You know? But no, he was amazing. a lovely, lovely, lovely man. And his book, if you get a chance, read his autobiography as well, full of lovely stories. He originally lived and came from Albert Square, which was down in Stockwell near Clapham. Okay. And um, when I first got hitched, my wife, her, her grandmother had a house just around the corner. Yeah. And we lived just around the corner. And very, very occasionally, Sir Roger would still turn up in that area and go to see some of his original friends. He still kept in touch. Oh, he would amazing. go to the school he went to as a kid and all that. He was. He seemed to be one of the most genuine and kindest yeah. people. He did loads for UNICEF. He was a true gentleman in every word and a no, great actor. Good. Yeah. And I think he played Bond very well. He put oh, yeah, added a little spicy humour in it. He put his I own think. little twist on it, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, you know, we all have our favourites, but I think whatever he did, he he, um, he did add a spicy humour. Do remember, yeah. by the way, if um, as you were saying earlier, Jane, about yeah. the payment, if you're looking, some of these are considered purchases, yeah. these prices, but do give Benham a call or send them a, an email perhaps to info at benham.tv and um, let us know and they will be able to give you details of what items are available on special prices you, you know on spe special payments over a couple of payments so you may well be able to get that service and yep. do always watch us as you know on uh, www.benham.tv say that right www.benham.tv yep. yeah well anyone who is just tuning in now you've missed the show <laughs> yeah. you've missed the show we've we've had some amazing items been? on i know yeah. Yeah, you're watching wrong channel. But we've had some amazing items on today's show. So basically, go on to www.benham.tv. All the items we've done today are on there, plus a lot more items as well that we haven't actually shown today. So there's a bit of everything for everyone, whether you're a collector, if it's for your friend, your partner, family member, there's something for everyone. So everyone tune in. And we're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as well. So give us a follow can't go wrong feel free to send messages yeah. so we will always get back to you well, Sam, what are you up to next then jade i mean i know you've got so many things happening so many different spheres of the media yeah. world now and a lot of presenting work happening and maybe the next bond girl da, da, da. remember you heard it for us <laughs> eh? it looks that good, would be good. She, eh? yeah but, i mean you've got lots coming up again in the next few weeks yeah but it's just months. so many yes yeah, so a lot of events and um yeah there's a lot of since all this has hit the news it's sort of been all brought to light with a lot of stuff and mm. yeah there's a lot more events um yeah the tv stuff's walk on has stopped and obviously yeah. now i'm going down the other route of the tv presenting and yeah but i was hoping to still do all obviously the tv walk-ons in between because i just we've all like one big sports family and i just mm. enjoy it so much still do the appearances in between so they're still going ahead so yeah i've just got 
it's just all that really. Everything's sure. just everything's just yeah, I've got quite a few things coming up. Well I hope they'll work for you. Do you remember you. if you have joined us, have a little look in front of us at the front here. Yep. We have all the just about we've got all bar one of the James Bonds in this show. Um, if you look at the, we looked at, first of all, um, if we look at them in a line, we had Pierce Brosnan there, who of course was uh, James Bond 007 himself. There he is, I'm pointing at him there. We do still, as I say, a great image of him. This is 300, 635, 190. Um, sorry, give me the wrong price for that, aren't they? The Pierce Brosnan is uh, 300, 616, and the price for that is 159 pounds 99. Or if we do, again, looking at the front, we have, of course, Sir Roger Moore there. Again, great image of him as James Bond, isn't it, down there? Great yeah. image of Sir Roger. The number for that is 300,617, and the price for that, 195 pounds. That's yeah. actually a good price now for Sir Roger, because he yeah. is very, very Hard difficult to get. To get. Um, obviously, since sadly he left us. Then we had, of course, Daniel Craig, um, which was a great image of him from the movie. Well, we lost that at the moment. Were we done with Daniel Craig? Oh, where's he disappeared to? Yeah, he's disappeared. We had the Daniel Craig. Um, the image for that, uh, the price for that, I'll give you again, was 306.18 and a price of £164.99. Then we, then we saw, of course, a George Lazenby, where we have two images for you. We've got the large one at the end there, front of you, Jay, didn't we? Yeah. Which is a great, great image of up. George Lazenby. It's a great way to get a collection of Bond, because you get all you get all of them today, bar Sean Connery. Yeah. So if you wanted to build a whole collection, just snap them up while you can. Yeah. Or, some of these are really place. hard to get. Yeah, Literally, get you can together. get it all here. You get it all in one place and then... And all you've got to do then is we find will, one yep. of Sean Connery, which one We'll try and easy, source one for you, then. Yeah, we we'll definitely will. But, of course, the image and the number for uh, George Lazenby is 300-619, and that's £74.99. And, and remember, we have two images there. You have the one on the screen, yep. which there he is, where, where he is, where he is. Where he is? There he is, <laughs> with Diana Rigg, who he actually married in the movie of... Um, on His Majesty's Secret Service, on Her Majesty's Secret Service, or we have also the one that's in front of us on the screen. There he is, of George. Let me just specify yeah. which one you'd like, and it could be yours. Again, yeah. very fun, very funny, amusing character, George Lazenby. As I said, when he did it, he got slanted in the show, so he just pulled out and doing any more movies. See, I think if he maybe did the other. It he might change people's opinions, obviously. Mm. You've still, yeah, he's... Well, some he's of the James Bond connoisseurs now believe, when you read it, you read all it with, you know, digital media now, the acts of a huge amount of worldwide, yeah. everything's available, isn't it? A lot of people seem to believe that George Lazenby now, as time's gone on, they've reevaluated it, and that some of the real connoisseurs of Bond now believe he was, was one good. of the closest to playing the character that Ian Fleming created. Yeah. He was one of the best. But at the time, he got slated. And, of course, had he gone on, he would have maybe done that three or four movie deal. He would probably be now, it could be now, a, a superstar actor, yeah. you know. Yeah, of course. But a nice guy. And, and plucked, of course, as from being the world of a male model. Yeah. But we both started in the same place. I was going to say, you used it <laughs> the same believe. one, wasn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was, again, last orders in that. Then um, also we saw, don't forget in this show, we saw the um, up there we've got Carolyn Monroe. This is what I was saying is a second image. If you go, you can actually get that. If you go to the website, they'll, you'll be able to find that one. They've all been so but, different, haven't they? Yeah, they are very different. It's going to be interesting to see who gets named. I'm not sure they've actually named it yet. There's a lot of rumours banding around. Yes. There. I don't think they've... Um, they've not fully chosen them, I don't think. No, yeah, but should see. Got an idea. Even rumours having a lady bond, wasn't there? But I'm not sure... I don't oh, know. I'm all for that. Yeah. yeah, there's another yeah. role for you. Keep that dress oh, on, go to the bond. audition, you'll be there, baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm her agent, by the way, so give us a call if you're looking at Jay to do something like that. We'll show you also these cards quickly we touched upon. Remember, these are just superb. This one was, we had the world is not enough, but this is Tomorrow Never Dies. Set of 90 cards, remember, they are stunning. Actual photographic images from the movie. Do have a little lot on the website, but all those images, 90 different cards, and if I turn it around, you look at the backs, there on the back, you see is the information about each individual card. 
but it really is a great way to get your hands on a terrific collection this has been going again what great love your company no babe. absolute Lovely pleasure absolutely don't forget pleasure. the new bongo you saw her here first catch up with jade here and on other places as a career continues to blossom i'm sure you'll see her but um if you do all that great work you do for Thank charity you. she's a lovely lady Thank but we you. wish you well and um, we look forward to seeing you again here on Benham tv don't we of course yes so make sure you tune in next time guys and we will see you soon yeah keep watching keep looking and don't remember don't remember do remember www.benham.tv for all the great collectibles or tune into this channel and we'll see you again soon bye